This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be talking about the Clutch Charger V2, which I've been testing for the past two weeks. Let's dive in. So starting with the exterior of this portable charger, it comes in black, white, and pink. Uh, we like the black because it adds to the minimalist look that this charger already has. It's only 0.16 inches thick, which is just over four millimeters or about two quarters high. Uh, it's listed as being made of metal, but the sides here feel a lot like plastic. Um, this might be metal, but it's, if it's metal, it's a very, a very thin metal, um, but it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything like that. Um, just good to note. Um, it's listed at two ounces, but we actually clocked it in at uh, 2.3 ounces, which is about 65 grams. And as you can see here, this is the lightning cable model. Um, it only comes in lightning and USB-C, and there's no other place to plug a, um, a cord in, so you have to pick what you're gonna use and you gotta stick with it. So if you have an iPhone, you kinda need a dedicated one just for your iPhone. Um, but if you have an Android device, you could get one with USB-C and then you could charge all of your USB-C items with it. It's rated at 3,000 milliamp hours. In our testing, we got about 2,600 milliamp hours out of it, but that was while we were using an item. So uh, maybe that it, it drained a little bit while we were using it, but it is right about the 3,000 advertised milliamp hours. Um, this charges an iPhone 13, a standard iPhone 13 to about 90%. So it's not good for a full charge, but it is good to kind of top off, you know, when you're going uh, out from your hotel, your Airbnb, or on your commute or something like that, but you're not going to get a full charge out of it with, you know, the standard iPhone 13 or any of the newer phones. Uh, just the biggest plus of this, obviously, is the size. Compared to these other chargers here, it is the smallest overall out of all of them, and even these ones that do match it in um, its size, it is much, much thinner than. Um, it'll fit, you know, in a large bifold wallet or a travel wallet easily, um, whereas this is too thick and even if it did fit, it, um, it would kind of bulge out and wouldn't be all that comfortable. This one here is smaller width, but again, that um, height there is not ideal for if you're trying to put it in your pocket, put it in a wallet or even like a, a sling, a small sling or something like that. And then this is, you know, a much bigger battery bank and it has a lot more milliamp hours, but if you put that in your pocket, you're not going to be able to put anything else in there and it's going to look kind of silly. Um, whereas this, you know, it'll fit right in your wallet and you don't really have to worry about it so much. One thing that is important to note, I think, is this cord is very, very thin. We treated it delicately because we were kind of worried about it breaking and nothing happened and it doesn't really show any signs of wear. But if that were to get caught or something, like if you were charging your phone, like you had it plugged in and, you know, something were to get in here and pull it, you know, probably it would pull out, but it does stick in pretty well. So if something were to get stuck in there, like a pencil in your backpack or something, it could break. It hasn't, obviously, but that cord is very, very thin, and it, it feels durable, but just something to be wary of. And to check your charge, there is a little button right here, and you click that, and it you know, tells you how much charge you have. We were just using this, so it's only got one out of the four. Um, and we've got the little charging port here. It comes with a small included cable. And because you have to charge this so much to, like, you know, you're going to use this and use it all up pretty quickly, um, keeping this on hand is important. We found that we found ourselves bringing along this box that it came with and, like, sliding it into our bag. So that way, while you're on the move and you don't need it in your pocket, you can just kind of slip this cord back in here. Kind of rotates around like that. Put the charger in, and then you have the charger and the cable all in one. So you can slide that into your bag, you can slide it into a sling, and it uh, has a, a small form factor, obviously not as small as the battery bank itself, but you know, this is easier to stow than this is, you know, because this is so tall, um, and this will fit nicely in your bag, and you have the charger and the cable. So there you have it, the Clutch Charger V2. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.